everybody that's going <coughs> good morning class um this is uh pharmaceutical and organic chemistry na uh, as we know tumeshafanya introduction tukafanya the um the second session ambayo ilikuwa kwenye structure of an atom na nini na of course kwenye anatomy ambacho nataka nikukumbusha before going to lecture ya leo the today's lecture is on session 3 ambayo inaitwa electronic configuration of anatomy because i believe yesterday i mean the the previous session it was last week we saw on the atom we saw the composition of atoms don't forget on a proton on a electron and a neutron very important is in same tatu ambazo kwa kweli katika uh, any anatomy should have the nucleus should have um, the electrons and also should have the uh, orbitals we saw and also it should have now the proton the electrons and the neutrons these are two three three common issues ambazo lazima kwa kweli umezipitia na umeziona I believe everybody anyone amepitia notes na ameziona amesoma references from different sources na amepata idea so from there now is where now we want to see the electronic configuration remember the electrons we saw it was the negatively charged and the proton was the positively charged and the neutron had no charge kama nakumbuka pale ambapo umejifunza pia vizuri juu ya uh, umejifunza juu ya atomic numbers mass numbers mambo mengine so that was the last session ambayo tulifanya na hopefully kama tukoja discuss basi try discuss but hopefully umepitia na umeweza kuelewa sehemu mbalimbali usisahau pia kwenye session ya pili kuelewa namna ya calculate the mass number atomic number inakaa wapi ukiandika ile configuration where does the electrons i mean where does the atomic number where does the uh, mass number zote ufam and how to calculate where you take mass number is equal to what and uh, i know you remember so this how is the formula na namna ambavyo unaweza kufanya it's very important kwa sababu kuna wakati nitakupa swali nitakupa configuration tu fulani of uh, uranium maybe um na kuambia calculate maybe proton calculate the mass number calculate the neutrons so from the formula utaelewa vizuri so today we are going to look on the configuration configuration electronic like any configuration now of an atom by definitions electronic configuration now this refers to the detailed <coughs> detailed way of showing the order in which electrons fill in around the nucleus yani kikubwa hapa rafiki ni kuangalia namna gani electron ana behave ana fill around the nucleus remember if you have the new, the atom you will be having the uh, nucleus and you will be having the shell called the orbitals those orbitals ni the shell ambazo zimezunguka zimezunguka uh, the nucleus sasa tutaka tuone namna gani electron ana behave eh ana behave around the nucleus It, that is what we are going to see today it describes how the electrons are described among the various atomic orbitals what i want you to know here ni kwamba by definition we have something called quantum numbers these quantum number ndio zitatuongoza sisi itatusaidia vijana wangu msipani itatusaidia kujua namna gani electrons ana behave And that's why by definition ukienda hapo kwenye slide ya tatu, ya tatu by definition bullet ya kwanza anakuambia quantum numbers a number used to describe atomic orbitals and label electron that reside in them yani inaelezea inaelezea orbitals na label electrons ambao wanaishi ndani ya hao atom sasa kitu cha kwanza hapa you should know what is orbitals i want you to take 
time with me chukua kalamu na karatasi chora duara la kwanza chora duara kubwa kuliko lile la kwanza maana utakuwa na duara mbili moja likiwa ndani lingine liko juu chora duara jingine chora duara jingine katikati ya kale kaduara kadogo ambako ulianza nako weka doti Okay, nimeona umefanikiwa vizuri kuweka dot. The dot you have drawn now in between is the nucleus. Umenielewa? Na hizo duara hizo kwa unachora, duara ya kwanza, duara ya pili, duara ya tatu. That are shells. Hizo ndio shell. And what is the shells? Shell ndio hobito. Kwa hiyo usichanga nyukiwe wala usipaniki. If you want to know what is hobito, just draw take time with me chora au unaweza kaanza na kadoti kwanza baada ya doti draw kadwara ka kadogo chora duara kubwa chora duara kubwa zaidi chora kubwa zaidi means you are making the shells around the nucleus and it also means by other definition you are making the orbitals so remember that keep on touch usisahau because tutakuwa tunaongelea orbital 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 so kafua meelewa Naomba tupitie types of quantum numbers na kwa sababu tumeshajua quantum numbers ni namba ambazo zinatusaidia sisi ku describe atomic orbitals zile shell shell of the atoms au orbit of the atoms and electrons that reside in a label sasa we have four types of course we have four types type ya kwanza we have principal quantum number we have the angular uh, momentum quantum number and also we have magnetic quantum number and also we have the spine quantum number sasa usichanganyikiwe kijana we have the three i mean the four lakini the first three quantum numbers first three don't forget angalia bullet ile angalia bullet ile ya tatu ya nne bullet ya nne bullet ya nne kwenye side ya tatu nakwambia we have three ile kuanzia principal quantum number angular momentum quantum numbers and the magnetic quantum numbers our what when i describe the electron distribution of electron ni distribution of electron kwenye an atom. Kwa hiyo the three first quantum numbers kazi yake kubwa ni ku describe only the distribution. How does the electron distribute? Iko mbali gani? Iko same gani? Ina shape gani? Ndio hizo. Lakini the last fourth quantum number ambayo ni spine quantum number. The last kama unakumbuka yenyewe kazi yake kubwa ina describe behavior of a specific electron. Behavior behavior yake ina spine negative imeenda opposite inaendaje just behavior of the electron sasa so starting with the quantum principal quantum number the first one we saw uh, these kwa ujumla zile tatu zina describe what mbona mtaji na salangu tuna ina describe distribution of electron in an orbital of an atom sindio fanya mani distribution just distribution of electron sasa ile ya kwanza principal quantum number ni kwamba yenyewe you can go to bullet number three ambapo itakwambia kikubwa zaidi hapa yenyewe principal quantum number ina describe the average distance average distance of electron from the nucleus in a particular orbital skiliza tulichora mwanzoni if you draw me with me tulichora she duara la kwanza duara la pili duara la tatu duara la nne nenda kwenye karatasi hiyo chora kijana wangu look hapo katikati there is a shell si ndivyo i mean the first shell second shell na kuendelea lakini uliweka nucleus katikati ka doti now this one now kwa principal quantum number itakuelezea umbali wa kutoka pale kwenye kale ka doti what i told you is the nucleus hadi ile sheli ya mwisho kama kwa mfano umechora duara kwanza duara pili duara tatu kwa hiyo the kwa, principal quantum number inakuonyesha dot ile ya katikati ambayo ni nucleus chora mstari ulionyooka kwenda lile la mwisho ile la mwisho duara mwisho huu mbali ulio uchora is what we are calling the principal quantum number kwa hiyo mtu akikwambia principal quantum number is just the distance from the nucleus to the shell many are from the nucleus to the orbital kwa hiyo it just the average distance ama ukienda the last bullet pale utagundua kwamba the 
the greater the average distance of the electron from the from the nucleus so is the greater distance of the orbital ile orbital wa kwanza wa mwisho ndio maana nasema the larger n n presents the number of principal quantum number je ni namba moja, namba mbili, namba tatu, namba nne. kwa mfano ulivochora duara la kwanza iite ni n1 duara la pili n2 duara la tatu n3 ndio hivyo sasa kwa hiyo duara la kwanza ni n moja, duara la pili ni n mbili na kuendelea nafikiri tumechora vizuri na tunafatana vizuri so just the distance from the nucleus to the outermost shell that is n n and also we have the angular angular momentum quantum number ama jina jingeletwa azimuth quantum number inakuwa labeled by ako ka unakaona hapo kaivyo chorwa sasa mnakajua jamani mmekaona watu wale suma physics you know the label inaitwaje sasa hii kubwa kazi yake kubwa angular momentum quantum number ina describe only the shape of orbital nisikize vizuri just the shape of orbital si kama nielewa yani j if is n1 in a shape gani if is n3 in a shape gani mnaelewa where the first shape we had here is s angalia the last bullet last bullet ambayo itakupeleka kwenye table last bullet inakuonyesha the first shell shape yake tunaidonate kama s shell ya pili shape yake tunaweka kama P, D na kuendelea. So just to mention F, G, H na kuendelea. Sasa nataka kukuambia hapa ni kwamba the angular momentum quantum number just explain or shows the what? The shape. The shape. Safi kabisa majibu vizuri. Sasa unaweza kuipataje? Because you should have calculation. Kumbuka we said we have principal quantum number which show the distance from the nucleus. Kumbuka hilo. Usisahau. From, show the distance from the nucleus. Sasa kama una show distance from the nucleus means you have any one maybe shell ya kwanza any two any three na kuendelea. Sasa if you have that if you have that usisahau kwamba we can also get the angular momentum quantum number by calculation. How will you calculate? Simple. The formula yake inasema weka kale ka weka weka kako ka simbo kako ka juu ka azimuth quantum number is equal to n minus 1 utakuwa umepata the angular momentum quantum number kwa for instance ukienda bullet ya tatu inakuonyesha for instance if you have value of n now is zero i mean tuseme n is zero or is one chukulia n is one maana yake itakuwa kama n is one andika hapo sasa itakuwa ni n minus one sasa kama n is 1 maana yake itakuwa azimuth is equal to n minus 1 lakini n is equal to 1 kwa hiyo itakuwa ni sasa na 1 minus 1 kwa hiyo utapata azimuth au angular momentum quantum number if n is 1 ni 0 sasa kama nielewa lakini suppose now naenda kwenye bullet ya, ya nne, utakuta pale if now n is bullet ya tano if n is 2 If n is 2 na unaweka kwenye calculation remember the formula azimuth andika pamoja na mimi kwenye daftari lako azimuth is equal to n minus 1 yani angular momentum quantum number is equal to n minus 1 sasa unachokifanya wewe ni rais sana what you, you, you are going to do here substitute kwenye n pale umeshaambiwa if n is equal to 2 kwa hiyo maana yake unaweka n minus 1 ko 2 minus 1 utapata ngapi jameni sema wote kwa pamoja kama chekechea 1 si ndio hivyo if umeshapata 1 is simple kama umeshapata 1 ambacho unakuja ukifanya hapa sasa wewe ni kwamba kumbe azimuth au angular momentum quantum number yako is equal to 1 bas umeshamaliza kama is equal to 1 maana yake unaweza ukapata kama n is equal to 3 is equal to 4 na kuendelea so in 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 slide ya sita utagundua kwamba we have the table there which expense now if angular momentum quantum number is equal to zero. kwa kwa hii inaelezea shape 
shape yake ya orbit itakuwa s kama angular momentum itakuwa ni 1 shape yake itakuwa p and so forth kwa hapo utapitia nafikiri darasa tuko pamoja na tumeelewana vizuri and you are all okay kwa hiyo wala siwezi tena nikarudia and hayo maelezo hapa chini wala haitaji nirudie sana because it is just to explain that if n is equal to 1 maybe if n is equal to 2 utapata angular momentum quantum number yake ni ngapi and what is up and, and so forth so we have also magnetic quantum number you remember magnetic quantum number now this one kazi yake kubwa is just to express how to show how to describe the orientation of the orbital in space sika mna nielewa my dear natamani unielewe ya kwanza principle quantum number ilikuwa inaelezea nini jamani kwa pamoja wote tuseme ilikuwa inaelezea the average distance from the nucleus to the outermost shell lakini ya pili tukana na angular momentum quantum number ambayo imekuja ku explain nini jamani wote tutaje shape sasa hii magnetic quantum number yenyewe inakuja ku describe jamani orientation you all know orientation hata hivyo kwa naza first year hapo ulifanya orientations kwa just explain the orientation sasa kwenye orientation uh, is just simple kwa sababu for instance you have uh, take example for instance bullet number 3 if you have n is equal to 3 and it means kwamba unaweza kukalculate azimuth au ile angular momentum quantum number unaweza kaipata sasa possible value zako zinakuwaje kwamba kumbe wa shape yake it could be negative 1 i mean negative 2 negative 1 0 one positive na two positive maana yake gani unaonesha that just orientation kwamba huyo electron anaanza ka spin kwenda positive au ka spin kwenda negative maana it might be anti clockwise or clockwise nafikiri hapo umenielewa na nawashukuru kwa kunielewa so the other slide hii itakuonyesha hapa chini slide ya hii slide ya ngapi slide ya nane inakuonyesha hapa navo spine for instance umepewa hapa huyu uh, ni helium uh, maybe ni helium sijamuona vizuri hapa lakini unaweza kaona ina spine uh, kwenda maybe clockwise na nyingine anti clockwise and that is what we were uh, we were discussing here so usisahau spine tulisema inaonyesha nini jameni the possible uh, spine tulisema spine inaonyesha nini uh, niwarudisha kwenye notes hapo juu the spine is always describe the behavior of specific sasa baada ya hapo we have the rules now rules of filling the electrons in orbital ili uweze kufill electron kwenye orbital fulani kwenye shell unataka kumweka electron lazima tuwe na sheria lazima we have the rules what shall i do utafanyeje ili uweze kufill now we have three of them the first rule in a state is how anafahamika kama half bows principle and also we have power ex exclusive exclusion principle and also we have the hans rule sasa yote anajieleza hapo sitaki kukusomea lakini can see in half bow principle inakwambia electron occupies orbital with the lowest energy level or en energy first lakini electron maraki anaoccupy orbital with the lowest energy first yani electron anaweza kaingia akaenda kwenye energy kubwa anaoccupy kwanza mwenye lowest energy ndio aende kwenye mwenye energy kubwa atakuja kujifunza my energies as we go far we have the power exclusive principle ambo power yeye anasema no two electrons in an atom can have the same four quantum number hayupo yani zile four quantum numbers zote zifanane eh kwenye the same atom hakuna electron yani no two electron no two electron can have the same four quantum numbers lazima zitakuwa zimetofautiana one of the quantum numbers not that one lakini the second bullet hapo kwenye pause ni very important because anakuambia if two electrons occupy the same energy level they must have the opposite spine lazima usisahau hiyo usisahau if you have two electrons in the one orbital lazima moja aende anti clockwise mwingine clockwise always what wakaenda in the same direction. Ndio anachomaanisha hapo they have opposite spine. 
and Hansulur now you can see Hansulur that occupy orbital of the same energy will have maximum number of electron with the same spin sasa hizo ni sheria tu za namna ambavyo unaweza ukafeel na utazisoma i know you know them ushagawe kuziona somewhere also uh, kwa sababu inorganic chemistry of course just a reference of your of your chemistry of your level kwa hiyo usiogope sana in case no problem tutaendelea kuwasiliana now by finishing here we have electron configuration now of different elements how can we name them na nini nataka tu nikupe if you see there we have hata zamani ulifanya haya mambo you have sc we have one sc one kule juu uh, mwanzo kaona we have subscript superscript nafikiri unakumbuka hayo ka kitu kakiwa juu kwa mfano andika sc S imeandika andika moja iweke S pale juu ya S mkono wako wa kulia andika moja hiyo ni superscript 1 lakini kama ungeandika huku chini ya S yani 1 S afu chini ya S mkono wako wa kulia ungeandika chochote kwa ni subscript kwa sisahau what i want to show you here is just explained here kwamba ukiandika moja S afu moja juu maana yake ile moja ya kwanza ina donate the principal quantum number n maana yake ni sheria ya ngapi huyo electron anapatikana kwenye sheria ya ngapi kwa hiyo ndio unaandika 1 ile 1 ya kwanza ukiandika ile s s ina donate uh, the angular momentum quantum number angular momentum quantum number ndio ile s maana yake ni shape shape yake imekaaje imekaa kama s lakini ukiangalia kule juu kwenye superscript superscript pale tunayo moja tena ambayo yenyewe ita donate the electrons orbital number of electrons in the orbital kwa hiyo for instance kwa mfano tusichukulie tu moja andika sasa hapo tuwe na mbili alafu p alafu mbili au mbili p tatu nimeshaandika yani tumeandika for instance mbili p tatu tafsiri yake nini mbili uliyoandika kubwa ni number of shells maana ni n lakini ile p uliyoandika kadogo elfu p ndogo hiyo inaelezea nini jameni uh, angular momentum maana shape of the electron alafu unaenda kale ka juli kuandika kale ka tatu kwenye superscript umeandika mbili afu p ndogo afu juu ya p pale juu yake umeandika tatu ile tatu ni number of electron in outermost shell pale kwenye number of, ziko electron ngapi kwenye hiyo shell Mnyama vizuri. Endi hapa chini utaona hapo tumeweza kudonate, tumeonyesha kama moja na spain kwenda juu, nyingine chini. Um, lakini tumekwambia do not spine zote kwenda juu au spain zote kuja chini electrons and this shows the uh, power exclusion uh, power exclusion principle ambayo yale kwambia if two electrons are in the same orbit lazima wa spine in opposite menelewa eh so that is very important na utaweza kuona hapa i gave you the for example of the helium na nini ambapo ndio hiyo iko hapo juu sasa hii bullet uh, slide ya ngapi inaelezea hayo hapo juu and uh, and uh, and uh, lastly lastly sasa hapa uangalie if two electrons in orbital have the same or parallel spine they are net magnetic field Hatha. kama wanakuwa na nini jameni the same maana yake kuna kuwa na reinforcement of magnetic na don't forget magnetic substances are those uh, that contain net and paired spine of of attractive attracted by the magnet as you when unpaired ili weze kuwa attracted by other magnetic you magnetic unakumbuka zamani uko nafanya uh, example unakuwa nafanya mifano ile ya kitoto kitoto ile ya kijinga jinga lakini inasaidia you uko unachukua hata kalamu na sugua kwenye kichwa baadaye unagusia kwenye karatasi na nata hiyo unaweza ukafanya hapo na wewe ukiwa hivyo usichukulie kwamba umezeeka fanya mambo ya kitoto ili uelewe chemistry chemistry all about about kujaribu jaribu kwa chukua kalamu yako ya biki sugua kichwani jeni nenda kwenye karatasi kadogo iko kakato tona na nata maana yake kuna kuwepo na unpaired electrons which enforce the attraction sasa so, hiyo ndio electron i i na, na, naomba niwakumbushe pia kwamba pitia notes vizuri i know mnasoma mkiwa mbali lakini pitia notes vizuri itakusaidia pia kuzielewa pitia notes vizuri kabisa na utakapopata kwere tutakapoenda kwenye discussion please na encourage sana discussion because mind you tutatoa maswali mengi kwenye discussion kuliko kwenye notes kwa hiyo for whom ataki kudiscuss 
eh tunamuonea huruma sana kwa sababu baadaye utakuja kushangaa pitia discussion tukisema discussion ni saa fulani please go online na to discuss for instance leo tuta discuss saa nane kamili tuna discuss saa nane kamili aya tuta tuanza discussion yetu kwenye mfumo tuta discuss please to discuss impose swali discuss impose swali discuss otherwise i wish you all the best i love you all jitahidi ni kuelewa fanyeni discussion ili mambo yende vizuri asante sana kwa kunisikiliza